क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू हैव बोथ फ्रीडम एंड रिस्पेक्ट हाउ टू हैव बोथ वॉट इज रिस्पेक्ट रिस्पेक्शन एंड वॉट इज दैट मीन यू आर क्लोज टू लुक एट समथिंग अगेन टू अंडरस्टैंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू यूजली कॉल एज रिस्पेक्ट इज नथिंग बट अ बिहेवियरल प्रोटोकॉल you wish somebody you say this is an expression of respect hmm somebody enters the room and you stand up and you say this is respect this is not respect this is just protocol this is just a code of conduct which is enforced upon you respect means knowing spec specure that's the word respect means looking again and again respect speculate the root word is that look at it again and again so that you can know it hmm specs you know specs inspection you see the root word is common looking at it looking at it respect means looking continuously till you understand respect does not mean going down your head respect means opening your eyes to see right now how do i respect you by saying oh all of you are such vulnerable people no that is hardly any respect i would respect you by closely listening to what you want to say similarly how do you respect me by just sitting quietly and saying that this is the mark of our respect no respect would be when you understand what is happening here understanding is respect are you getting it respect is an internal event in the mind not a display of a particular behavior that is respect now you are asking how to have freedom and respect both together obviously there can be nothing called respect coming from others because to demand respect from others is to be dependent on others the only way you can respect yourself is by knowing yourself the only respect that can come to you is from yourself so self respect is really the only respect and this goes very nicely with freedom self respect remember goes very very nicely with freedom they are in fact two sides of the same coin there can be no freedom without self respect and self respect remember is not having a high self worth self respect is self awareness knowing oneself only when you know yourself can you act freely on the other hand if you are asking that how can i have respect from others and yet act freely then you are asking for the impossible it is not at all possible the man who says that i want respect from the society and yet i want to live freely he is asking for impossibility because others will show a particular behavior to you only under their own peculiar conditions if they will offer you respect they will demand something in return and do you know what they will demand your freedom and that's what we usually do in order to get respect from others we trade away our freedom 
द मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेबल मैन इन द सोसाइटी इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट मिजरेबल मैन बिकॉज ही मस्ट नाउ डू ओनली वॉट अदर्स वॉन्ट हिम टू डू अदरवाइज द अदर्स विल नॉट रिस्पेक्ट हिम दे विल से यू हैव टू वॉक इन दिस वे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेन रिस्पेक्टेबल यू हैव टू स्पीक ओनली दीज काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेन रिस्पेक्टेबल योर एंटायर thought and action will now be governed by what others want to you because it is the others who are supplying you respectability who decides that you are respectable the others who gives you all your medals and qualifications others who decides that you should be given the honor of being the most celebrated person in the town others and if others are giving this to you then they will do it as per their own conditions and they can take it back any time today i may be respecting you whatever that word means in that context tomorrow i may take back that respect withdraw that respect and doesn't that happen oh i thought you are an honorable man but today i saw you acting in a different way so i am withdrawing the honor now what happened to the honor dishonored what kind of honor was this what kind of fleeting honor was this what kind of ephemeral respect was this like a dew drop gone in a second so dependent others have to give it to you never think that it is a privilege to be respectable it is such a drudgery never envy the people who are respectable have mercy on them they are already carrying a lot of load on their mind respectability is such a burden on the mind you can't be yourself you have to watch your image all the time what will people think oh such a respectable man and he is eating ice cream on the road side no 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 respectable people don't do this oh such a respectable man and he is roaming around with his girlfriend no no respectable people don't do this respect is such a burden who wants it who wants it self respect is another thing ask for self respect not respect self respect is another thing hmm freedom and respect will never go together but freedom and self respect will always go together know yourself through your own eyes live in your own intelligence that is self respect and that is the absolute freedom hmm yes please so self respect is a type of ego no not at all self esteem is ego you could take it as ego yes right and self is a we are our own self wonderful swabhiman right very well said by self respect i do not mean swabhiman by self respect i mean atmagyan and these are two very different words swabhiman is every bit as much of a load as is respect after all abhiman or swabhiman they both have the common root word right ego abhiman but our upbringing has been such that we have glorified swabhiman swabhiman is a disease like any other kind of abhiman like any other kind of abhiman very well said thank you for pointing this out self respect is not swabhiman self respect is self awareness atmagyan knowing yourself realizing what the reality is that is self respect 